Will we see any changes in the 2025 season for professional bass fishing on the elites, BPT, and MPFL? That's what we're going to talk about right now. If you like this kind of content, click that like and subscribe button. Become part of the team and family. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm humbled. I appreciate all the new members. I appreciate all the new subscribers. I appreciate everybody who's interactive and in comments. I try to reply to all of them if possible. And I just just can't say thank you enough. It's humbling. It's awesome. And it's, I, it's just amazing. So thank you. If you're not a subscriber, though, you should be because it's free and you can help me reach my goal. So just click that subscribe button and do me a favor. And I appreciate it. What can we expect for the 2025 Professional Bass Series for the MPFL, the Elites, and the BPT? Well, MPFL is probably going to see the biggest boost in ratings, in viewership. Them deciding to, that organization deciding to ban forward-facing sonar has really given them a kick that they needed, that they deserved. They have shown that they're willing to make a, a drastic change and also be a, not only a fa one of the fan favorites by banning forward-facing sonar, but the anglers that are on MPFL consistently say it's the best organization to fish with. I think we're gonna see some bigger named anglers join the MPFL. Now it is an application process. They have to apply and they need to be, they need to be accepted. I think there'll be lots of anglers that attempt to get in there and fish NPFL that will be declined, which will probably hurt them a little bit, but I think this is the right thing that they need to do. I hope they don't make the number of anglers they allow in the NPFL to a super high number. I think it waters down the whole group of anglers that are on there. I think if they can keep it at that 120, 125, 130, that's still way too many anglers, but the MPFL should allow as many people as they can, but I think it makes more logistic issues for them. And when you have such a large field, it makes you have to have more, the places that you go, it means that they need to have more space. They need to have the right amount of fish in the areas that they're going. And with NPFL, they have selected to not ever go against the elites. And when you have such a big field, I think it's all right to go against the elites, but I do understand them not wanting to compete against the Bassmaster elites. With Bass for 2025, there's gonna be some people that aren't excited about what I'm gonna say. There's not gonna be a lot of changes. They didn't make a big change with forward-facing sonar. You're gonna see the same amount of people complaining about what's going on and what's happening within the organization. Yes, there won't be the rookies that have gotten the waypoints and done what they did in 2024 but the new crop of rookies that are joining 2025 are as good as any anglers we've ever seen because forward facing sonar is still allowed there's still gonna be the issues with everyone saying i you know forward facing sonar over the traditional way of, of fishing Veteran anglers are still going to be upset about it. Rookie anglers are still going to dominate. And if you're not using forward-facing sonar, then you should just, you shouldn't probably compete. We're still going to see a lot of pettiness and jealousy and chirping at anglers or other anglers and nobody saying anything. It's just what Bass has done. Bass doesn't want to have bad publicity. They want all good publicity. So this will not be a change. I don't think we'll see much of a change for 2025. And that means the drama will continue. That's what it means. We got to keep up with it. We're going to have anglers who are anglers and also they are they're YouTubers and content creators. They're going to clickbait us. We're going to see more and more of the same thing. We're going to see sponsorships go to different anglers. And I think without the organizations making some sort of pay increase for these anglers, I still think we're going to see drama and the fighting and the bickering and the petty bullshit that we saw in 2024. And while Bass took a serious hit, in my opinion, in 2024, there's still the Platinum Tournament Series. They still have the platform. They still have the longevity in the hobby. Notice I didn't say sport, in the hobby. And they were, they're not going anywhere. They need to make some changes for sure, but 
we're going to see the same amount of crap that we saw in 2024. Major League Fishing is just going to continue to sit back and reap the rewards that they're reaping right now with all the issues that Bass is having. Will they make changes? Yes. Are we going to be pissed off about it? Yes. The one thing Major League Fishing has done really well over the last couple of years is now they are, they're going to pay more anglers. They've made they've condensed the field which is really important and they've made the group of anglers the best of the best and what major league fishing has done with their forward facing sonar in the periods it allows a different type of strategy for all the anglers we're going to see a different a whole different mentality on when they're going to use it and when they're not going to use it and i think the the biggest issue we're going to see, not the biggest issue, I think the biggest thing we're going to see this year is how forward-facing sonar plays into the gamut of how those anglers are fishing. And I think that adds a little bit more drama and a little bit more intrigue. And I actually think it helps Major League Fishing more than bass doing nothing. In 2025, we'll see Major League Fishing, the Bass Pro Tour, they're going to move down to 45 anglers, and that's going to add more drama to the series. They're going to remove 15 anglers from the 2025 season that move on to the 2026 season. And that adds a lot of drama and a lot more fun, and it actually gives me more content. I like keeping track of where those anglers are and who's in and who's out. Because anglers that are outside of that 45 need to have another successful year. There's some guys that don't have to worry about it at all. Your Jacob Wheelers and the top 10 anglers from this year probably have nothing to worry about at all. But doesn't mean they're not going to still be competitive and try to beat everybody every time they're out there. Major League Fishing also has a really good schedule this year also. And I believe at the end of the year, Major League Fishing with the top 45 anglers and the five anglers they bring in from the Invitationals will be the best anglers out there. They'll be some of the best names. They'll be as elite as you can get. And I, while people might not like that they cut the, the field down and condense it, I think it's a brilliant opportunity. I also think it makes the Invitationals that much better. And truth be told, I think that if you're a professional angler and you're not in the Invitationals or not in the, in the BPT, I think the BFL is the best place to make money. It's the least amount of entry fee to win the most amount of money. And there's something to be said for those anglers fishing the BFLs. And with all of the new areas that they're going, the BFLs offer a great opportunity for anglers to get their feet wet, learn, and see if they want to try to progress in the invitationals and try to get to the Bass Pro Tour. And overall, I think that while we'll see some drastic changes, we're going to see a lot of the same. It's just how bass fishing is. I think once you realize that bass fishing is boring to everyone outside of the fishing community, that you realize that the drama is what everybody wants. You might not like to see it or hear it. You might not want to click on it. But the truth be told, the drama within the organizations is what everyone wants to watch. Unless you clickbait everything you do. And I do disagree with that. If I make a statement on my if I make a statement on my title or my thumbnail, I try to make sure that I talk about exactly what I'm talking about in those two things on the video. And there's too many other people that just throw out random title shit and have never say one word about what they're talking about in their thumbnail or their title. And I hate that. But that gets the clicks. You might not like that. So are we going to see any drastic changes or should we expect something different in 2025 for the Bassmaster Elites, the MLF BPT, and the NPFLs? You tell me in the comments below. So thanks for hitting that like and subscribe button. I really do appreciate y'all. I really do appreciate y'all. So thank you. So take a kid fishing. Get your fish on. I will talk to you very soon. Cheers. Thank you. And tight lines.